talk? Okay, let's begin. We're just going to have a little quiet time this morning. So make yourself comfortable. Have a seat. Yeah, same things we do seated, we could do standing, but um, this kind of depends on what you're feeling today. So just take a moment. Just, in fact, just put your hand palms down on your knees. And just let your elbows come back a little bit and in a little bit and relax your shoulders. Just take a moment in your breath, in your body. We just take a moment to gather ourselves here. Whatever is happening in our life, whatever is happening in the world. In a safe spot for the moment. We've chosen this to do something good for ourselves. So we bring ourselves here fully. We give ourselves permission to let go of the worries, the stress. Give ourselves permission to go of the cares of the future, what may be. We give ourselves permission to go of the past, whatever led up to this moment is. And as I am seated here, it couldn't be any other way. I am here. I am here and they are here with me. I am here in this place. I am here in this body as I am now, as I exist in this, in this body. <clears throat> I am in this heart. I am in this ocean of love and light even when it feels dark and scary, it feels overwhelmed or hopeless. Always connected to creation, a heart of source. I swim in it of light and love. Self permission to let that move into my own heart, physical heart, to my heart space, soothing, calming, loving, nurturing, station, just into my heart, into my moves throughout my body, flows into my mind. I am here with this mind in this consciousness, this greater awareness. I allow my mind and my awareness, my attention to feel love, my heart. I am here in this moment, this experience, as I am now. It couldn't be any other way. As I exist now, it is as it needed to be. And as we get ourselves into this experience, into this moment, into the temple, this golden heart throne, golden crown of awareness, halo of light. Every day, in every way, I, we are growing healthier, stronger, better, and wiser. Adjusting breath. Exhale. Gather and release. 
my legs are crossed, so I'm connecting my feet and then bring the, up my legs up through my spine, up into the crown, and circulating and releasing. And up. Just allow my three clench adjustment to adjust my mind, my heart, my even if I feel it, I allow this to have an effect in my state of being as I find myself here in this body, in this moment, in this life experience. It is temporary and is always changing. I give myself permission I give life permission to change in favor of my highest and well. With grace and ease, a smoothness, a gentleness, a loving acceptance, a surrender to something greater and bigger than what I could foresee. Just begin to focus on the breath. Let the belly rise and fall. Go ahead and place your hands on your belly. <clears throat> when you breathe in, let the belly push against the hands gently. And as we breathe out, gently press the hands in. Not firm, just gentle, squeezing in to exhale, releasing, expanding to inhale. And if you can't breathe through the nose, then breathe gently like sipping through a straw. Slowing down the inhale and the exhale. And just feeling the body respond, the heart and the mind responding to this physiological shift. Our strongest and quickest way to become centered to smooth emotional unrest and upheaval, to soothe the mind, to calm the thinking space, to soften and release tension, is to slowly breathe out through the body as if your lungs were in your lower abdomen. Inhale, gently pressing against the hands. Exhale, gently pressing the hands in without force. And just feeling the motion of the breath in the body. Sometimes we become numb physically and we hardly know what we're feeling and what's going on. So I bring my awareness to the physical sensations of my breath as it fills from the belly up to the chest. Feel my chest gently expand as I squeeze from the chest down into the belly. Feel a gentle compression. <clears throat> and just let everything slow down allowing a softness, a gentleness to wash over this experience as I take this sanctuary, this time, this respite, this nourishment, this nurturing self-love and self-care, 
even if in the moment I don't feel love for myself, even if I don't feel cared for or loved or loving of the world. simple gesture of taking this time for myself, for ourselves, signals to the universe an intention. So we place our awareness on the sensations of the breath movement in the belly, in the chest, in the body. We allow ourselves to come fully into this space. We send a pulse like a ripple in a pond that spans the entirety. It may take time for that ripple to come back and to feel that in this moment in this body. Just as sure as the moonlight reflects in the calm waters at night. I receive that which I give. I give that which I receive. I find an inner stillness, a calm, clarity, peacefulness, and serenity, even in the midst of a great storm, even in the chaos. I find myself in this moment, in this body, with intentions and awareness, healing, restoration. And in the process of rejuvenation, a reawakening, the blueprint of my body, mind, energy. the sensations of my breath and my belly, the gentle pressure on my hands as I inhale and expand out towards my hands, the gentle compression as my hands gently press towards my belly, ever so softly, breathing in and out through the nose, or through pursed lips, like sipping through a straw. With the tongue flat against the roof of the mouth, the tip of the tongue behind the teeth line, at the edge of the palate. Or if you feel like it, tip of your tongue in the roof of the mouth, in the soft palate. Just feel the breath. Just take a moment to be here now. the breath sound like a wave, a gentle wave inside your body.
feeling the sensations of the breath moving the belly with the hands, the chest, inflating, compressing gently. The inner sound, soothing sound of the breath as a wave in the body. If your arms have grown tired of holding your belly, just rest your hands, palms on the knees to ground, palms up to receive if that's the space that you're in. But if it's a moment, a time for grounding, for centering, for embodiment, just place the hands, palms on the knees or the thighs, whatever is comfortable. With the elbows gently kind of tucked in, taking the pressure off the upper back and the shoulders. With the chin slightly tucked, raising the crown of our head to the sky. And if your back gets tired, you could seat yourself against the back of a chair or on the floor with your back against the wall. Just continue to breathe and to feel Free at any time to adjust the feet. So instead of cross-legged, I could put my feet on the ground. And I could fidget a little bit if I want to fidget. Free at any time, any moment to adjust my body. Gently roll the shoulders if I like. Move my head and my neck. This is my time, our time for us. Taking this time to do something good for ourselves. Even if we don't feel like we deserve it, even if we don't feel like we're in a space to receive it. We offer these gestures anyway. And in doing so, it makes a difference. Send this ripple through time and space. Let this love reach me at times in my life in the past when I couldn't see clearly. Times where I was under duress, pain. includes up to this moment. Let this ripple, this wave, move out before me to clear my path. To align myself with a gentle, smooth ride divine timing flow that I shall be in the right place at the right time to encounter the right thing in the right time. The sequence of changes and choices, circumstances, chance will favor my journey. And even when it seems that it is not so, I trust that it is always so. I claim what is for me. I let go of what is not. I let go of what is no longer in service of who I am now. I give thanks and love and appreciation for everything and everyone that has helped me to be where I am today. I offer love and appreciation for that which has not yet arrived in my life. Those who I have not yet met
have for love and appreciation for those who are steady on my journey, those that I travel with in this lifetime. I let come to me what is for me. I let pass me by what is not. I let go of what should be. I let go of the things that I want. I am open to receive what is for me. I trust in my highest self, my soul, my spirit, my consciousness to deliver me along my journey. That whatever I may experience, it is what is required. It is what I have chosen to be in this lifetime. I avail myself to the deep riches and treasures of experience. That all experiences that I have, have had or will have, are in divine timing and flow. For all experiences are a treasure to the soul. I avail myself to the great river of beauty, preciousness that exists throughout all of creation, all of the highs and the lows, the dark corners, the beautiful heights, the bright light, and the great emptiness. brilliant golden light thread that weaves throughout. I see the miracle of life and creation. I allow my mind to come along for the journey. I allow my mind to relax into the moment. I shift my attention, my awareness onto my breath, into my belly. I feel I hear the gentle wave of my breath, the rising of each moment, the resolution and the passing, that each breath, each moment has prepared me for the next. <clears throat> and let's place our hands in our lap. The left hand on the bottom, the right hand on the top. I'll be your mirror. I'm going to put the eye of the bowl, sorry, the lid, right about at the belly button or right between the top of the hip bone. And then the bowl will be lower in the belly, a few inches below the belly or in the lower waistline. I'm just going to rest our hands there for a moment in healing place mudra. I'll move my hands up a little bit so I'm in view. They would be a little bit lower. At the end of the day, you can't break it. It doesn't have to be exactly right. And chances are, if it's not exactly right, it is exactly right for that moment. And just continue to focus on the breath, bringing our hands into healing place mudra. 
And if you'd rather, you could just place your hand in your belly or rest your hands on your thighs or your knees, palms down to ground, palms up to receive, to expand. The right hand on top and the left hand on the bottom, but it works the same way if you have it reversed, which I do, as I'm your mirror. And just imagine and just feel as you breathe in and out, a lot of awarenesses that we could bring into this moment. But only let yourself pay attention to what feels right to you. And keep it simple. All these things are happening, whether we're aware of it or not. And then we can just bring our attention to the breath, in and out of the belly, flowing up and down the spine. And it begins to circulate through the arms and connect with the heart, creating a direct connection between the heart, the throat, to the belly. Everything's always connected. We just create an emphasis. Begin to circulate body to heart, heart to body, as that continues to flow up and down the spine, soothes the mind, as the mind anchors into the heart, into the belly, into the breath, and as awareness of vitality, health, physical beingness rises, it's allowing this energy to circulate throughout our system and to flow where it is needed to make repairs, to make connections, restore pathways and balance. And our life-giving organs and our glands and chemistry and our brain our nervous system. Just allowing this energy, this sensation, in whatever aspect we're aware of, we're aware of. Whatever has not entered our awareness is not necessary at this time. Just allowing the body to be, allowing everything to move, to circulate restoring harmony and balance. I am here, in this place, in this body, in this heart, with this mind, in this awareness, in this moment, with these intentions, with the clarity of mind and purpose, purity of heart, I am here. Just allowing the receptacles, the energy centers of the body to fill. We can lead our attention, we can guide and lead energy, and energy guides and leads us. We cannot make something happen that is not meant to happen. There's no need to force. There's no need to hold on, to pack it all away, lock it up tight. We allow our hearts to open. We allow our minds to open. We allow our body to open to the gift of life, vitality, great inner essence. And place the hands together and lift the hands and rotate, gently pressing the palms, aligning in Namaskara. And just breathe, I'm just letting my body connect to itself, right to left and left to right and back again. 
was aware of my breath in my body. Tip of the tongue in the soft palate flat against the roof of the mouth. Face and jaw relaxed. Teeth lightly connected or lightly separated. Whatever is most relaxing. Whatever releases tension from the face and the mouth and the jaw. Lips closed if they can breathe through the nose. Lips gently open if breathing through the mouth. Point the fingers to the sky. Bring it into Sankapla Mudra, the opening, I am here. Push the left hand against the right and rotate, aligning to the right side of the body, right palm facing the shoulder, left hand on top, arm diagonal across the body. But if you need to keep your arms in front or even lower, that's fine too. And then position one. Point the fingertips out away from the body. And you might extend your arms or pull them in. You might find that you want to flex and twist the spine and make adjustments in your body. Free at any time. There's a benefit to learning the system, developing the techniques, and adhering to the process. But that's just for training. That's just to get us to a place where we become aware of something greater. And that something greater is our inner awareness, our intuition, our highest self guiding us in each moment to what is best for us at this time. What we allow ourselves to do, to be, as we are, to avail ourselves to what is right for us in this moment. Just allowing this connection with the hands, these energy pathways, acupressure points, physical structure of my body, the awareness of my breath to move, to cultivate life forms, to cultivate connection. And I open my heart to receive. I open my body to receive. I open my awareness to receive, and I unlock the fingertips to the sky, push the right hand against the left and rotate center and keep rolling, aligning with the left side of the body, left palm facing the shoulder, right hand on top on the inside, arm diagonal unless you need to keep your arms centered. <coughs> sometimes I hold my arms out, sometimes I bring my elbows in, whatever feels good to my body. You know, hands about shoulder height, but you could drop them down. Just continue to make these connections, crossing over our center line, connecting right to left and left to right, connecting up and down, from the bottom to the top, through breath, through blood, through energy. Connecting my front with my back. Just allowing my whole system to celebrate, to shake off the dissonance, to let go of the tension, the pain, the stress, and the worry. And if those sensations, those experiences persist, I trust that they are bringing me towards something, a lesson learned, an experience gained. 
another step along my journey. As I continually choose times in my day, in my life, in my week, to do something good for myself. It continues to send a ripple, a pulse into the universe, a ripple through the pond. And it may take time, but the universe will respond. My body, mind, breath, energy, responds, becoming unified, harmonized, coherent, and point the fingertips to the sky, push your left hand against the right, rolling center, bring the arms parallel to the ground, and always feel free to, you can then hang your arms down instead need to rest a little bit. Pushing the left hand against the right, right palm facing the sky, left hand on top, left arm diagonal across the body, unless you're staying in the center. As we have opened an opening, four sides of a golden pyramid, four quadrants, Front right, front left, back right. We bisected down the center, left and right, front and back. The edges of this golden temple, this golden pyramid. As I align myself in this golden temple, and body, <clears throat> this golden heart throne connected to an ocean of love, light, with a beacon, a halo, a crown of light connecting to a greater awareness, a knowing beyond what the mind can conceive. Focusing on the breath, slow and deep into the belly. Each breath, each moment, a pulse into the universe, into the body. Tip of the tongue in the soft palate, draw flat against the roof of the mouth. Teeth, lightly connected or lightly separated as if you could slide a sheet of paper between your teeth. Breathing gently in and out through the nose or through the lips. And rotate center, right pushes against the left and now opening the back left. Left palm to the sky, right hand on top. It works the same if you have it reversed somehow, it's okay. You'll end up somewhere else. Trust that wherever we end up, whatever seems to be a misstep, a mistake, it may seem to be a step backwards. It may appear to be a failure. But trust that each of these are necessary steps along my journey. That I embrace all that is with love and gratitude, with appreciation and the great mystery of creation itself and that which gives rise to creation.
I marvel at the journey. I marvel at the gentle miracles that take place every moment, through every cell in my body, through every particle and wave, throughout all of creation. All seamlessly connected. I move to the center, to the eye of the storm. I open my heart, my body, my mind to receive. I sit as a golden temple, a golden pyramid. The center, a golden heart throne with a beacon of light, of creation, of consciousness, of greater awareness. This beacon of light connects me to my highest self. heart that knows that everything is okay, even when it's not. The part of me, the part of my existence that is beyond the pain, beyond the suffering, the frustrations. The part of me that is just watching marveling in the miracle. We rotate the hand center, raise the hand to namaskara, allowing the balance to take place throughout the body, free at any time to adjust for myself. Maybe I take a deep breath in. my body, move the pressure of my breath throughout my body and release. <sighs> hands coming down, right hand on, left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top. I'm speaking the opposite of my movement, so sometimes my brain has to catch up. And just returning once again to Healing Place Mudra, and maybe something's opened up, maybe something's created some kind of pain or tension or frustration or emotion. You can take a nice, big, deep breath. Hold the breath in, feel the pressure. Move the pressure in my body and then cleanse and release. Maybe you don't hold it for as long. Breathe in. Maybe it's a slow, gentle breath. Just feel the breath throughout the body, the pressure, and release it. One more time. the hands and rub the hands together. If you've been seated cross-legged, you might want to release the legs. You might want to stand if you feel like you've been sitting too long. You might flex the spine and twist a little bit. Gently roll the head and move the head and the neck. Open out to the sides, palms out, and bring the hands in. Palms together. And we'll open up out to the sides. Palms out or maybe hands straight, palms down if that feels better to you. And bring it in. Again, open up. Gentle. Expand. And maybe go ahead and point the fingers. Wiggle the fingers a little bit. And bring it back in. 
palms connected, reach up with the arms. Maybe reaching up doesn't feel good to you, so reach out instead. We'll go there next anyway. And then bring the hands down, bring it in, bring it into the heart. And we're reaching to the front. Maybe reaching up or out is uncomfortable, so you reach down instead. That's fine. We're going to go there too. And bring it in. Bring it into the heart. And then reach down or down diagonally. And then bring it in. Bring it into the heart. Open the palms. Nice and rounded. Maybe you're holding your little energy sensation ball. It's a concentration of our field. A concentration of the energy of love in the heart. And even if I don't feel sensations that tell me that this is happening, I trust that in time I will, in a way that I will know to be what it is. Even if I don't yet feel the subtle nature of my experience, my existence, I trust, I know that my heart is open, loving, receiving. And my heart is open giving, trusting, even if it hasn't been safe to trust in the past, in this moment, I allow a return of innocence, a return of trust. I let my eyes tear up in joy in love, in sadness and grief. I welcome it all. And in my most vulnerable space, I am stronger. And I reach up and I allow this loving energy to rise up. Even if holding my arms up is not comfortable, I could just point my hands towards my head. Just allow this ball of light, of love, of energy, this radiant sphere to move into my head space, my mind, my brain, my nervous system. And just soothing beautiful, loving energy to my upper chambers. And allow my mind to anchor into my heart, into this trust. And bring my mind and my heart into my belly, into my vitality, my physical beingness. Allow love to wash throughout my body. I allow this greater awareness, that which knows all, that is in each moment, each breath, guiding us, directing, experience the richness of life. I allow a great vitality to awaken in my body, great healing, great internal balance, alignment. I open all this beautiful vitality up, up into my heart. My heart may once again be youthful, trusting, open, a great inner 
power. It is stronger than any tragedy, any loss, any fear or evil that we may perceive. This love is stronger. This light is greater. I allow myself to feel again. Maybe for the first time. I allow myself to fall in love with myself. We are at once the greatest. And at once, we are no greater than any other part of creation. We allow all this beautiful vitality, this love, this light to rise up into my head, to my mental body, to my emotional body. That my mind might listen to my body. That my heart might lead my mind. That my body may feel love. And just like embarking on an adventure. An excitement for what comes next. Three deep cleansing breaths. Exhale. Breathe from the earth up. Calling from the sky down. Two. By the third deep breath, everything just exactly as it needs to be. A little more circulation from the outside in. We gather ourselves fully and receive ourselves fully. And rise as unified as fullness up through the center from the inside out, expressing as our fullness. One more deep breath. Sending you so much love. Namaste. Shishli.